How's it going, lads? Marshall here, and welcome to another review on the channel. A couple of days since we've done one, but lads, today, Team of the Year has arrived. The reviews will arrive tomorrow on the channel, because I'm just letting that kind of price is settled down right now, but the reviews are definitely coming. Mane and Bappe Messi, amongst others. And today, as you can see, Player of the Month also came out, and normally what I do with these promos is... I'll leave the player of the month. I forget about player of the month and I don't like to do a review upon the player of the month. So I thought, you know what? Let's get him in the scores. Let's review him. And then let's get into the team of the year review. So lads, if you do enjoy it, you know what to do. Bring that hype. Smash that like. And uh, let's kick team of the year off to a cracking start. 1,000 likes. That would be sensational. Subscribe to the channel if you're brand new around here. Click the notification bell as well to be notified of when I do go. Um, I was going to say live. But when I do put a video live on the channel, you will get notified. Notified my socials, Marshall89YT on the Instagram, Marshall89HD on the Twitter. Make sure you check both of them out. Links are in the description. As for Luis Suarez, he's going to play a striker. He's, uh, he's a player of the month. He's 91 rated. And he's not one of those players that are very versatile. They can't like play a striker, cam, lamb, ram. You know what I'm saying? He's a striker, all striker, and a natural centre forward on the game. As for the SBCs in which I did do them, you can see this one here. It's an 84 rated team. Got to see. It's not too expensive. It's not too expensive. Now, you can see some high-rate players in there. Casemiro, all black at right back. Yeah, yeah he's just snuck in there right back. And uh, Aspas. The rest are low-end budgets. Now, I put the high-rate players in because the pack's due to team of the year. I'm going to end up packing these cards back. You know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, that's the team I went for. One La Liga player, but I went for 11 because I'm a bit of an idiot. But um, that was that one. And then we went on to the second one, and it was actually... An 85 rated team. You can see it on your screen right now. The chemistry is 70, but it actually wasn't that bad. We, we nailed the chemistry 74, and we had some high rate players in there. The likes of Busquets, the likes of uh, Rakitic, Icardi, Di Maria, Hamsik, but for an 85 rated scores, it's not too bad yet again. It's not too bad whatsoever, and the price bringing those two together is 135,000 coins. So I've got to say, for a player on 91 rated, again, it's not too bad. In terms of this card, then, he's got high to medium work rates. He's got a uh, four-star weak foot, but most importantly, he doesn't have the four-star skills anymore. But so I've got to say, on this year's game, it's not that important to have um, those kind of skills on you anymore, is it? It's not really that important to have, like, five-star skills. Yes, it's very... Uh, um, Nice to have. It's very nice to have. It's nice to have four-star skills, but three-star skills does the job from time to time. And it doesn't... Well, it stops you from overcomplicating things, which on this game can be a blessing in disguise. As for the height, it's six foot, so you can think that he's good in the air. Lads, he's only got 70 jumping. He doesn't get off the ground good enough to win the headers, especially from goal kicks, which I'll talk about once we get into the gameplay. Yeah, he's got good acceleration at 82. He's got same five sprint speed, 95 positioning. So in terms of pace, I did put a hunter on him to boost that. But, um... I didn't see much of a difference, especially in the sprint speed. Acceleration, yes. Sprint speed, no. Which is very, very um, interesting to say the least. 94 finishing, he's got 90 shot power. He's got 88 long shots, 93 volleys, and 85 penalties. In terms of the passing, it was quite good with the cards. It wasn't amazing. It was quite good, not amazing. He's got 85 vision, he's got 85 free kicks, 85 short pass, 89 curve. That's great for a striker on this game. Fantastic for a striker. 81 agility, 81 balance. Not too, too bad. 95 reactions, 87 ball control, 88 dribbling, 88 composure, 87 head and accuracy. The jumping of 70 like I did see. He's got 83 stamina, 88 strength, and 89 aggression, which is fan bloody tastic. So that being said, uh, let's get a review of the former team of the year, but the current player of the month for La Liga, Luis Suarez. And into the clips we go. You can see them on your screen right about now. Now I'm gonna watch them on this monitor. You guys are gonna watch it on, well, your screens, your tablets, yeah, whatever you watch it on. Just you're gonna watch it basically. Now what Suarez does well is he positions himself like phenomenally. His positioning's crazy, man. He just gets in the right place at the right time to do these kind of things. I've got to say his dribbling actually wasn't that bad despite his lack of agility and balance, which is fantastic for the card. And you've seen there, his finishing is exquisite. Give him a chance, he's going to place the place in the corners, basically. Top corner, bottom corner, and where the hell you aim it at goal. That one was a particular amazing finish. Give him a chance in the middle of the area, and it's right in the corner. The keeper didn't even move. Stood there static, and that's a great finish by Luis Suarez. He did remind me of a Lewandowski. He reminded me of an Edison Cavani inside... Uh, uh, well, in terms of like his finishing abilities, where he gets a chance, scores a goal, he's his pace, you're out of there. It also reminded me of like a Harry Kane type of player as well. Just the way he kind of played and positioned himself on the field. Luis Suarez gets a chance, cuts it back, and it is a goal by Karima Benzema. But lads, 
In terms of pros, finishing has to be up there. Finishing's got to be up there. It's just that good with Luis Suarez. Give him a chance, he's going to score, which has got me excited, man. You see 94 finishing. Yes, he goes to 99 with Hunter Kemp's now, but I'm going to use his team of the years. Sadio Mane, Lionel Messi, um, Kylian Mbappe. I'm excited to use these cards now, because if this guy's finishing is that good, he scored 5-5 five and five in total for me, with, um, I think it was one back and out from kickoff. Um, so yeah, he wasn't actually that bad. So he's very good in front of goal for myself. And give him a chance, he's gonna score, man. He's gonna score. So it's got me excited to use these team leader players. In terms of positioning, lads, it's amazing. He just knows where to get. In terms of positioning, in terms of movement, he knows the areas to get into, uh, to receive stuff like that. Now that might look like it's happening, because it was. But if you look closely, he stops. He stops. The second that pass is made, he stops. The defender keeps running. It allows him the space and it allows him to tap it in. That's what a natural striker does in real life. That's what a natural striker does in this game as well. Fantastic by Luis Suarez. Shot power's up there with the best in the game. It's 90 going to 99 with the Hunter style. Sensational right there. And um, he does score a lot of goals, especially with that shot power. Give him a chance, he's going to rattle it home as um, he plays like a little, the kind of one two, the long one two with Benzema here. Cross comes to the back post, he scores a header. Now, that wasn't about his jump or anything like that. It was a great leap, it was a great open goal free header, but goal kicks and combative kind of heading and stuff like that, he doesn't challenge, he doesn't challenge from goal kicks and whatnot. So that's where it's kind of stumbling block with Luis Suarez, and that's one of the cons, the jumping on the card, because honestly, he's got the aggression and stuff to be just, um, uh, uh, I don't know, just one of those kind of rascals. He's got the aggression to be a rascal in this game and just keep going at defenders where they, they, they've, well, basically, lads, what I'm trying to say is he's got the aggression. He never stops going, he's always on the move, and he's always trying to win the ball back and just do stuff like positioning, lads. Positioning is epic with this car. The other things like the epic, the ball control, the aggression, which I just spoke about, and in terms of cons, top speed has to feature. It wasn't that great. It wasn't that great. If it's not that great, I'm going to tell you, it wasn't that great. And in terms of his top speed, it's not that good. His stamina is uh, okay. It's, it's 83, but could be a little bit better as well. But lads, that's going to be it for the gameplay highlights. Let's get into the overall rating. So there we have it, lads. 135k for this card is not bad whatsoever. That's actually really, really not bad if you think about um, other SPCs in the past, the, the expensive SPCs in the past, the... The strikers, the strikers, the strikers, the strikers. That's not bad for a 91 Luis Suarez. Yes, he's potentially going to get better cards in the future, but for a player of the month, that's not bad. That's really not bad. Hence the value for coins being a 9.3 today. In terms of your overall rating, he's getting a 9.5 for myself, and you might think that's a little bit high. Lads, he doesn't have many weaknesses, which it did surprise me because you look at the cards, you think pace is going to massively, massively affect him. It doesn't. His positioning is on points. He's getting into the right areas. Yes, his top speed isn't that great, and this will be the key quantity, but it doesn't massively affect them in a game-changing way, you know what I'm saying? It just plays a little bit differently, and you need to adapt your game style to that, which can be very, very easy at times. In terms of the rest, you're looking at his finishing, which boosts that rating. You're looking at his abilities uh, in terms of passing, his abilities in terms of strength and aggression, his abilities in terms of dribbling, because I've got to say, by the way, his dribbling, very, very good. I was very impressed by the speed of the drag back, the speed of the ball roll, the speed of the dribble and uh, ball control in general. It was fantastic, but mainly his finishing and positioning was on point. So he's got a 9.5 in total from me for the overall rating. In terms of value for coins, 135,000 coins. I don't believe it's too bad. So he is getting a 9.3 in that category and an enjoyment rating of a 9. So he's, he's really, really good enjoyment-wise in this game because he does things right. You get a lot of strikers on this game that overcomplicate things. You're thinking about five-star skillers. You're thinking about strikers that's going to confuse your opposition. But sometimes it confuses you because you do overcomplicate things. This is a no-nonsense striker that's going to put the ball in the back of the net given the opportunity. And he doesn't do anything uh, kind of with flair. He does do it with flair and whatnot. But you know what I'm saying, lads? He doesn't overcomplicate things, which um, by me going on, I'm kind of overcomplicating things. In terms of foot champ status, he would be a starter for myself. And in the future, he's got great links as well, by the way. I reckon he could get into a lot of my different squads. And uh, Luis Suarez, I see he's a permanent fixture within one of my teams. If you've got Footless Vidal, by the way, it's a great shout. If you've got uh, Player of the Month, Messi, this is a great shout. In terms of games, he played five, but again, one or maybe two. I believe it could be two. Rage quit the kickoff, relegating themselves. That could be for objectives or whatnot. But um, it was very frustrating. He got five goals in the games played. He's assisted twice. And in the games that did count, he got 9.7, 9.0, and a 9.4. In terms of links, 
links to every Barcelona player, some Uruguayans of course, some Uruguayans, all Uruguayans, including Footmas, Edinson, Cavani, which is a good link to him if you want two very similar strikers on this game. Or you can go icons. In terms of the similar player, it will be Harry Kane. I reckon Harry Kane's very similar to this card. I used that team, the group stage cards, and um, yeah, they're, they're quite similar in certain aspects of the game and the game style. Very, very similar, actually, to be honest. In terms of K-Pro, will be the finishing slash attack and positioning because it is just absolutely sublime. In terms of the key con, it will be that top speed, even though it's not a, like a game changer or anything like that. It's still a usable, usable, usable card. In terms of best camp style, will be Hunter. Takes from 93 striker, 91 center forward, left forward, right forward, 89 left wing, right wing, and an 89 rated cam. In terms of the best within that position within La Liga, it's Suarez. I reckon Suarez is better in that position as an all out striker, more than Griezmann, and more than Benzema. Simple as peace. And in terms, I've got Ryan Kent there. Why have I got Ryan Kent there? I will, I'll change that, lads. In terms of the best Uruguayan strikers, it's Suarez and then Edinson Cavani. In terms of the passing, it's an 8 out of 10. The same can be said about physical and dribbling with the shooting being a 9 out of 10. Sensational card at that. And it's got me very excited to review these Team of the Year cards, which is coming from tomorrow. So keep your eyes peeled on the channel for that. Make sure your subs are set to notifications on. Click the bloody bell, boys. But I hope you have enjoyed this review. Like I said, I normally do these differently i normally forget about the play of the month focus on the the, the promo but i'm going to give you the play of the month review today team year begins tomorrow for myself on this channel so i hope you are looking forward to that uh like the video if you've enjoyed but back to reviews and i think this channel from now on will be a review only channel which um you might look at that and think you know what i want more content I i'm going to use the second channel for the more content but lads hope you have enjoyed this one if you have once again leave a like leave a thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you're brand new around here hope you've got off to a very lucky start your team of the year if you've packed anyone uh, let me know in the comments section below and if you want to see any team of the year reviewed who do you want to see first Marnie Messi who else Hats. just let me know in the comments section below and I'll look to get that done but I hope you have enjoyed smash a like subscribe if you're new and as always I will catch you all next time